The city of El Paso has received a grant totaling more than $4.5 million. That money specifically going to a program to invest in an aquifer storage and recharge. ABC 7's Andres Valles shows us the plan and how they plan to conserve water and the groundwater here in the borderland. An application submitted by El Paso Water, the city, and with support of Fort Bliss, they were able to receive grant money that will allow them to take some water from the Rio Grande, treat it, and pump it back into our aquifer. We'll help with the long-term uh, sustainability of our aquifer, the Hueco Bolson, and we'll certainly help with drought resiliency uh, moving forward. Gilbert Trejo, the chief technical officer from El Paso Water, tells me the Hueco Bolson aquifer is the principal aquifer for the El Paso area and Ciudad Juarez an underground fresh water supply that stretches from the Franklin Mountains in El Paso, under the Rio Grande, and as far east as the Waco Mountains in Hudspeth County. Currently, we take um, treated wastewater um, that's treated to a drinking water standard, and we inject that into the aquifer right now. So what's the reason for the multi-million dollar project? This is just another way of, of taking um, uh, a water resource and using it and storing it uh, so that we can... Um, Again, have it for for times of drought and, and have it for uh, to meet future water demand for the future for the city and for Fort Bliss. The aquifer recharge project will be done in three different phases. The first phase has a hefty price tag of $10 million. The grant will cover $4.5 million, while El Paso Water will front the remaining balance. Phase one will take two years to complete. We turn to our latest drought monitor. You can see El Paso County is in an exponential to an extreme drought right now. So where else could we get more water? We turn to the Franklin Mountains. In phase two of the project, we travel to northeast El Paso, where the enhanced Arroyo project will take place. An Arroyo that currently goes from the Franklin Mountains to the El Paso Water Treatment Plant will be deepened and expanded for stormwater to flow from the Arroyo to the treatment plant, where it will get treated and used to replenish the aquifer. But we're also going to do it with these hiking trails uh, and an anemones around it so that the surrounding community uh, can use it um, and be proud of it. Andres Valle, ABC7.